Hi, I'm Amberly. Welcome back to Real Florida Magazine. Today is your opportunity to find out more about our local area. Welcome back here still uh, on the Friday of Chipley Flea Market Days here, the second uh, such event. Uh, driving people to Washington County, certainly to Chipley, Florida, uh, part of Flea Across Florida, 272 mile long flea market stretching from Live Oak, Florida to Pensacola. Here now in Chipley uh, with Penny Brock, Penny uh, uh, exhibiting a bunch of her artwork. Penny, how did you find out about the event today? Uh, my friend Barbara James let me know about it and that's how I ended up here at the church. She's um, had some um, space available and I thought, why not? You know, we spent $1,500 on uh, print advertising, posters, TV commercials, and everybody I speak to says that they heard about it from Barbara. I think we could have saved a <laughs> bunch of money and just let Barbara right. put out the word for us. Um, this is a great opportunity. You know, we get the Washington County Tourist Development Council uh, to give us a monetary grant to pay for the advertising. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, the effort is to drive people to Washington County, get people here that have not seen it before. Uh, and just like all of the special events, hopefully to recycle them back over time. So whether they come for a flea across Florida, in this case Chipley Flea Market Days, or the Watermelon Festival, or the Possum Festival, or they go to the State Park, the more important message there is see what we have to offer, see the beautiful community we live in. How long have you lived in Washington County? I've owned a home in Washington County since 1980, but I physically have lived here full time since 2007, since the summer of 2007. Okay. You mentioned in the pre-show that uh, you had thought about relocating, but had conversely changed your mind and decided to stay here. Uh, mm -hmm. Is that correct? Correct. I came here because my husband was ill and he was from Henson's Crossroads. And once he passed, I thought I might move over to Jacksonville, where I'm from. But I like it here, and I love my home, and it's got a great location, so I'm going to become a part of the community. I've decided to stay. Well, you definitely are in a very beautiful part of Washington County, but I dare say there are there are very many p uh, places that are not beautiful in Washington yeah. County. Um, we don't have the um, the urban sprawl. We don't have the industrial. Uh, 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 factories or any of that, um, we like to think that we're live in a very pristine, unspoiled part of Florida, what we call the real Florida, and that's, uh, that's why we publish our magazine, Real Florida Magazine. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your artwork. Um, behind us, you've got quite a large collection. You've got a, a, a vehicle pulled up there with even more in it. Um, talk a little bit about uh, uh, how long you've been involved in art and, and what exactly it is that you do in, in the art industry. Well, um, I started in my late 20s and did oil painting, acrylic painting, and sold some, and I lived in Fort Lauderdale. Then I just quit, life got in the way, and I quit, and I haven't painted for about 20 years, and then when I moved here, I heard about um, a teacher at the Council of Aging that was a great and wonderful portrait artist. So I started going there, and it got me painting again, and it's just, it's a passion now, I love it. That's interesting, and it seems to be a recurring theme. People who did something when they were younger and then take a lot of years off and then sort of get revitalized, you're able to draw on all that you learned and experienced in those younger days, but now it seems like maybe we have a little more patience in, in later years. Well, I find with my painting it's worked the opposite way. I was more patient then, and I would do intricate paintings and very involved things and just worked on it forever, and now it's like, I like sunsets, I like sunrises, I like the beach. That's what I'm going to paint, and it, I'm going to put a lot of in it and that's my story so well lots of sunrises and sunsets here obviously in Washington County but very few uh, beach scenes so you, you <laughs> find you find yourself uh, going down to the coast a lot then well and I've got a, a cousin who lives down there and he takes photographs for me of the beach at sunrise sunset and yeah I love the beach and lived at Fort Lauderdale for so long learned to love the beach there too well, hopefully, and as we discussed briefly just a short while ago, you'll get involved with Washington County Arts Council. Uh, a lot of dynamic people here in the area that are part of that and uh, help to promote the arts. Last weekend at Shivers Park right here in Chipley had Art Cadu, which was an event sponsored by Early Learning Coalition to foster uh, children and family in the arts, giving them lots of hands-on, messy stuff to do that parents don't ordinarily like to have done inside the house, but mm -hmm. gave them a full day on Saturday of last week. So hopefully you're going to find out more about that Arts Council and participate in that. I think you'll find a lot of kindred spirits. There's a lot of very talented artists in our area. Um, once you get into it, you start saying, well, somebody will say, well, so-and-so paints. Have you seen her stuff? Very talented artist. 
and a lot of people do it behind closed doors. Uh, yeah. They do it for their own enjoyment. They're not yeah. doing it for a commercial effort. Um, and until, like you say, you talk to somebody who talks to somebody who knows, or or somehow that person uh, uh, lets lets the cat out of the bag. Sometimes you don't know they're a closet painter. Exactly, and I'm the, that kind of a painter. And I wouldn't be here today unless Barbara had twisted my arm about, well, bring them out, bring them out. Then my cousins twisted my arm. I thought, well, I will. So that's why I'm here now. Now, is your cousin the woman who's got the shrubbery over here? Yes, she lives down the road from me. They have, um, she works, but they also have a nursery that they do and sell the azaleas. Mm -hmm. Well, she was the one that uh, started yelling at me as soon as I pulled up to go take a look at your artwork. So uh, obviously, I have to talk uh, to her later. <laughs> well, no, she's doing a good job of promoting what it is that you do. Um, thank you for taking the time to visit with us today. Uh, thanks for being a part of uh, Chipley Flea Market Days. Thank you. Tell me your name again. Penny Brock. I beg your pardon. I, I've got a memory from here, the curbstone over yeah. there. Here uh, at uh, Chipley Flea Market Days right now with Penny Brock, one of the artists we're featuring today. Uh, if you have the opportunity and you see this, come on out tomorrow, which will be April 13th. We'll be here in downtown Chipley all along Highway 90. Lots of yard sales, art sales, flea market type uh, setups. Uh, and, and certainly off the beaten track. Even if you're not on Highway 90, all you have to do is come down here, put a sign out directing people to your flea market. doesn't matter if you're 10 miles off of Highway 90. We still want you to be a part of it. Uh, it looks like this is shaping up to be a twice a year event. Happened in September of last year and now in April. Hopefully that, that's going to follow that pattern, uh, Penny. And uh, would you, uh, from what you've seen so far today, would you participate again? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Really nice people out here. I've enjoyed it. How has your art been received? Um, Everybody comments on it. It's colorful. It's hard to miss. Um, comments on it, and everybody's complimented me on how much they like it, so that's great. I've sold a few paintings. Well, it looks like we may be discouraging people from coming around your artwork here because they, they're afraid to walk in front of the camera. <laughs> so we're going to get out of your way. Um, best of luck going forward. Hopefully we can visit with you soon. Uh, I'd very much like to do maybe a little article in our, our magazine, Real Florida Magazine. Talk a little bit about your efforts and maybe highlight some of your artwork if you'd be amenable to that. Thank you. I'd, I'd enjoy that. Thank you. Very good. Well, here with Penny Brock, part of uh, Chipley Flea Market Days, we're having a ball. The sun obviously has come out now. Uh, the first few interviews of the day, uh, very cloudy, overcast skies. Now we're back to sunglasses, but you know what? That's a good problem to have. A lot of people are going to be getting, uh, touching up their tans and maybe even getting burned out here before the day is done. Make sure you get some of that SPF 5000 or whatever that, yeah. that, that big is. You're, you're pretty fair skinned. I'm afraid you're going you're gonna, to uh, clash with the sun if you're not exactly. careful. Exactly. I'm going to hide in the shade back there. Here in downtown Chipley, Florida with Chipley Flea Market days uh, and you're watching Real Florida Magazine. We'll be right back.